So the screen we're looking at right now, a student has severely damaged it. And to start with your screen removal, you need to unscrew the two bottom screws at the very left and right of your screen. And then you're gonna remove the black frame. After that frame is removed, you'll see the exposed wire like you see here. And then you'll notice that on either side, there are screws. And so you'll need to unscrew two screws from each side. Now, one tip is to use a magnetic screwdriver because these screws are tiny and if you drop one and lose it, then you won't be able to put together that Chromebook as efficiently as if you would if you had the amount of screws that you'd need, right? So after you take those screws out, make sure that you have your computer turned off and after you pull out the screen, you'll notice that on the back there is a little gold plate with teeth. You're gonna slide that out and then grab your next screen and with the gold teeth, you are gonna slide it right back in and then connect your screen. And so, of course, you wanna turn it back on to make sure that it's working before you screw it together again. Then you're going to replace all four of those screws. And then after you are able to go in and replace all four of the screws, you need to have your frame handy because the very next step is to put in that frame and make sure that it's lined up properly. Now, a lot of times when people are putting their frames back on, something I notice is that they leave gaps in spaces. Do not do that because the students are going to dig in there and break it apart and the screens are kind of flimsy. And so if they crack, then they're sharp and they can injure a student severely. So make sure that you squeeze all around to make sure that your frame is properly put on. And then you are going to take your screws. These ones are kind of a golden kind of color, whereas the ones on the inside are black. The ones that go on the outside here, they are like a golden color. So that's kind of how you can distinguish the difference between the two screws. But after you screw in, your um the two final screws there are two little pieces of kind of like a plastic kind of paper and all that is is just a cover to cover up the screws and so they're not even really necessary it's just a cosmetic thing but now you're all complete and your computer is fixed <laughs>